TerraQuantum is playing in the majority of our activities in the software space. We call us a quantum as a service company, like software as a service, making quantum accessible for our target clients as soon as there is a capable hardware available, the attention will shift uh, to the application side. Our USP here lies in uh, something which we call hybrid quantum computing. Uh, and that uh, means in particular that we do simulate the quantum hardware, we simulate the qubits to create a hardware platform where we can run our quantum software on it already today. It's not about the amount of data that you have, it's about the complexity of problems that you have. These fall into three buckets, which is the first one is optimization. The second one is machine learning or much broader artificial intelligence. And the third one is simulation. Simulation in quantum computing usually being uh, discussed as simulating physics and simulating chemistry. So you have the quantum computer as one quantum system that simulates the molecule, another quantum system, and that can help you to design better batteries, for example. In life sciences, uh, if you look deep enough uh, in, in biology, there's chemistry sitting behind it. If you look deep enough in chemistry, there's physics behind it. And really, it's quantum physics at the core of it all. So if you can understand the human body, if you can understand biology at that core level, you'd be able to develop new medications with, with possibilities that are beyond imaginable uh, from what we are today. And in the field of logistics, for example, we're able to you know, model and optimize global complex supply chains. Uh, these interlinked, highly dependent, complex meshes, you know, which are so critical to the living of our everyday lives, we're able to model them, simulate them, and optimize for them significantly better than was possible before. We do know that every classical encryption code will be hacked by a capable enough quantum machine in the future. The Q day, so the day when that happens, is currently estimated to be around 2030. It can also be earlier, but we even have the concept of harvest now, decipher later. So there are players in the market who try to get classically encrypted data to decipher them with a future quantum machine. So therefore, you have to act now if you deal with digital confidential data streams. If you think about the scale of, of what this means, so we would have to switch the whole communication infrastructure to quantum secure communication, quantum secure meaning, I have a communication infrastructure that can withstand an attack of powerful enough quantum computers. And it's not only in a company, but I still do communication with the outside world and everything what I do inside the company and send outside. Um, so it's meaningless uh, because people would still be able to decrypt it and steal it. We offer solutions around um, both at the infrastructure level and at the application level. At the infrastructure level, we offer quantum key distribution services. In addition to that, we've got the application level where you, know, you can either harness this infra infrastructure to develop applications on your own, or we develop applications that enable that. My main focus, this is hardware, developing of superconducting qubits. And this is, I believe, quite important development because this will give an opportunity to make a new kind of sensors, highly sensitive sensors, as a first stage moving to new superconducting qubits, which will be working at temperatures like about one Kelvin, which is uh, just like a jump. And we hope that sensors and detectors will come in something like one year. We hope for commercial products and we hope to have commercial qubits, superconducting qubits in something like two or maybe two and a half years. Partnerships in the quantum tech ecosystem are very important. Actually, for all players, not only for the, for the large corporates uh, but, uh, and, and for the startups, for the whole ecosystem, because there is such a speed up in technological developments that you not only need the incumbents but also the speedboats, the small companies. You have to have a multifaceted approach towards technological innovations. Nobody can have that all. And in particular in quantum, talent is 
such a scarce resource uh, that not every corporate can build up its own capabilities. To give you one example, we as TerraQuantum partner with NVIDIA, uh, the uh, world market leader in uh, AI chips. Why do we do that? Because we are a software company, we have established hybrid techniques where we can leverage classical GPU infrastructures to run our software on it today and deliver performance enhancement today already. We have been very quick at TerraQuantum in, uh, from foundation towards commercializable products. We differentiate compared to the rest of the quantum tech uh, ecosystem uh, in terms of our close attention uh, to what our customers want and have found a business model via these hybrid techniques which can deliver value today.